special elections in 12 barangays of Tubaran Town in Lanao del Sur opened earlier today, more than two weeks after a failure of elections was declared in the area. President Rodrigo Duterte apologized if he wasn't able to do enough for the Philippines as its president for six years. Pfizer-BioNTech said Monday that its COVID-19 vaccine for children under five years is safe and effective when given in three doses. OFW advocate Susan Lutz Ople confirmed on Tuesday that she has accepted the offer of presumptive President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. to be the head of the Department of Migrant Workers. And Irish boy band Westlife is set to return to the Philippines next year on February 20 at the Araneta Coliseum for their Wild Dreams tour. I am Leslie Ordinario and those are today's news in a nutshell.